Hi, my name is Selena, and uh, my group and I are doing a project about Jerron Lanier's book called 10 Arguments for Deleting Your Social Media Account Right Now. And we are going to support his seventh argument that social media is making you unhappy. And a few points that Lanier has brought up to support his argument is that social media tries to make users addicted and when they get addicted, real life just isn't as enjoyable as when they're on social media. Social media also creates an environment that causes users to become competitive, to prove to each other that they have a happier life than everyone else. Social media also causes self-esteem issues because its online environment it makes a space for loss of judgment and that keeps people from discovering themselves and causes loss of unhappiness in themselves at least. I have noticed that social media can cause unhappiness because people take advantage of the fact that they are anonymous and uh, they use that lack of identity to bully, harass, insult people under content that they have proudly created or posted and I notice that social media can cause unhappiness because people take advantage of the fact that they are anonymous and that lack of identity can lead them to believe that they will not face any consequences of what they say to other people online. They can say bad things to them, insult them, put them down, they can say a lot of things and it hurts whoever they're trying to put down and discourage and it can cause a lot of unhappiness to them and to others who are involved in it. There's a lot of trolling and it's very hard to avoid. People are there to get a reaction out of you and usually they're looking for a negative reaction. So that's why they try to cause unhappiness. And there's nothing holding them back from doing so. There's no moderation that is watching over what people say online or post online. And it's easy to ignore the bad things that they say, but it still sometimes lingers in the back of your mind. I interviewed my cousin and my sister about how social media can make them unhappy and here's what they have to say. So I am a procrastinator and I get distracted easily and social media doesn't help when I don't feel like doing anything. I continuously scroll through social media looking at random things and it makes it makes me lose my productive time and it just makes me feel unproductive in general. I am friends with people that actually have lives. I don't have time to go to places that they're having fun at and seeing them post whatever cool thing that they're at or like whatever they're even doing. It doesn't matter how big or small, whether they're like at their house making cookies or like out someplace that's like fun, you know, like a park or some shit. It's like I'm missing out on stuff and my life is very mundane and it's like I don't have time to go out because like I'm a life of a designer a student designer I have to dedicate all my time doing designer stuff yeah I wish like I I'm not that much of a person who goes out and stuff but like seeing people do things outside was very fun and I want to do that too but knowing I can't and that's why I stopped using social media because, like, all these people I, I should say I used to know now, like, I see myself being in that group, hanging out with them, but I've dedicated my life to studying, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. That's why. I'm Fairy's coworker, and I think social media can be bad for your mental health because it can influence negative comparison and bring down your self-esteem. It can affect you by causing depression and anxiety.